Hey, it's Justin Kanoi, DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And in this video, we're taking another look at the new stems feature in Virtual DJ 2021, but this time the easy remix feature. Now, as I've explained in some of my other previous videos, the stems feature is amazing, but there's a lot of layers to it. And it was important to kind of dive into all the different modes that you have available to you. To go again into the equalizer controls, you want to click on this little arrow and it's going to bring up the equalizer controls and you want to select easy remix. We've got that checked already. And what easy remix is going to do, it's probably the most basic functionality when it comes to the stems feature. If you have a four channel control and that's what we're demoing right here on the MCX 8000, I've been able to retain the original functionality of my EQ knobs and now the stems feature are on the channel four knobs. And that's what this area is right here. You need to tell Virtual DJ where you want to assign your frequency EQs. So naturally, if we're playing on deck two, more than likely you're gonna to want to have your regular high mids and lows and your filter and your gain knob all controlled as you traditionally would. And then everything else, all the stems functionality, can now go on to deck four. To devote an entire channel to the stems, I think is a great way to not have to completely lose functionality of your EQs. So again, you're gonna to wanna to select Easy Remix and then just decide where you're gonna want the stems. Most of us are likely gonna want it on the outer channels. And you can even see right here, it's illustrated, that channel two is gonna have high, mid, and lows, and channel four, we'll have vocal, instrumental, and beat. And we're gonna hit okay. So I'm gonna start playing this song. I've got this section of the song looped. And now with these knobs, we can start to manipulate the music. So probably the biggest thing, right, is if we want to just isolate the vocal. And what I'm gonna do is turn the vocal knob all the way to the right. So now we've completely isolated the instrumental and the beat. And we can bring those things back. Now what if we wanted to just do the instrumental? Pretty cool. Now I'm not sure if there's, it looks like I can see a beat. Yeah, there we go. So what the easy remix mode is, it just goes down to the most basic um, stems, your vocal, your instrumental, and the beat, and it allows us to just kind of configure them to however we want. Where can we have some fun with this? Well, what if we just wanted to have the vocal and the kick going on at the same time? and take the kick out. Now let's bring it back in. And by bringing these back to 12 o'clock, we can fade the instrumental back in. Let's take up the kick. Or just, I'm sorry, let's bring in the kick only. So I could imagine like maybe there is some point where I've got to like get on the mic and I got to talk and I just want to keep that kick in. Or maybe someone else is emceeing and there's some vocals going on and I want to kill those vocals so people can hear what the MC is saying. I would just play the kick. And then when they're done speaking, I can slowly bring everything back in. So that is a quick look at the easy remix function. It's probably the easiest, of course. Um, if you've got a four channel controller, it's really a no brainer. Just put the stems out on your outer deck. So on, on three and four, and you'll still have control over your EQs. And then you've got a whole separate control over the stems and you can start live remixing and having a ton of fun with this. I wanna thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel, and more importantly, 
hit the bell because you're gonna get notified every time I post a new video. This uh, next mode I'm gonna be posting in a few days and if it's already been a few days then the video has probably already been posted so it might even be coming up next. You can check the playlist, just go to the virtual DJ playlist and you can binge all of the content I'm putting about virtual DJ and specifically the stems functionality. Thank you for watching. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya and I will see you next time online.